All right, here we go. Dylan Derby right side in the Ram. And wait on the car next night for him to take off. There he goes. Top end. 1193-113. What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everyone's having a fantastic time. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make cheap race gas at home. Uh, this is what I do, especially if I'm just gonna be, you know, joy riding frostbite or cruising around. Um, obviously, at the track, we usually run like MS-109, but around town in everyday use, I try to just run like 100 octane. Uh, that way I can still have a pretty hot tune in the truck, but, you know, race fuel gets pretty expensive. So I'm going to try to show you how to make it at home and be able to get 100 octane fuel very easily. So first thing you're going to need is some regular gas all right now I have a gas station here in Georgia that actually carries 94 pump gas majority of people will only find up to about 93 pump gas the next thing you're gonna need some BP racing additive now this is the newer stuff they come out with that is actually the unleaded version now what this does is this will raise your fuel octane up to seven complete numbers so for instance if you mix this with 10 gallons of 94 octane regular fuel, you will get 101 octane fuel. Now, if you have 93 pump gas, you'll get 100 octane. If you have, you know, say 92 pump gas, you're gonna get 99 octane. But majority of people will have 93 pump gas available to them. So again, if you mix this with 10 gallons of 93 pump gas, you will get 100 octane fuel and for instance, like me, we have 94 pump gas here. I can get 101 octane with one bottle of this mixed with 10 gallons. That's how this stuff works. So one bottle treats 10 gallons of fuel and it will raise the octane rating of that fuel up seven numbers if you mix with 10 gallons. So for instance, this is a five gallon pill. If I was to put 94 gas in here five gallons of 94 or 93 pump gas and a half a bottle of this stuff i can make 100 to 101 octane fuel at home very simple so obviously 93 pump gas is pretty cheap you can usually get it around three dollars and some change a gallon or something right now a can of this stuff is going to run you about 20 bucks but it makes 10 gallons of race fuel up to 100 octane um, that's pretty good deal you know usually a five gallon pill of race gas you know even hundred octane BP fuel is gonna run you over 50 to 60 bucks for a, uh, for a five gallon pill of hundred octane MS 109 is gonna run you 80 to 95 dollars for a five gallon pail so being able to make 10 gallons of hundred octane or 101 octane at home with just a can of this stuff is pretty easy um, now you can order this stuff online. You can go to the parts store and find it. Usually AutoZone, O'Reilly's, um, Advanced Auto. Most of your parts stores carry this on the shelf. And I actually got the last few cans that I have currently, I actually found at O'Reilly's on the shelf. And I bought two cans of them. But that is what I do, guys. I usually run a 100 octane tune around town on the street and even at the drag strip sometimes. Um, the times that we are really going all out, I'll usually run MS-109, but for the most part, I'm doing 100 octane and I'm mixing it myself, and that's the cheapest way to do it, to be able to get, you know, up to 100 octane and have a pretty hot tune for your daily driving. Very easy to do. It has the instructions and everything on the back, but like I said, one can to 10 gallons of fuel raises the octane number seven numbers so just to recap if I put one bottle of this to 10 gallons of 94 pump gas I'm gonna have hundred and one octane if you have 93 pump gas available to you one bottle of the VP additive to 10 gallons of 93 pump gas is gonna get you hundred octane and again this is the unleaded version so this is safe for your O2 sensors catalytic converters all that stuff 
very very streetable stuff and it's not not terribly expensive like i said one can is going to be usually about 20 bucks or maybe just under 20 dollars a can but it makes 10 gallons of race fuel so that's pretty pretty damn good and definitely cheaper than buying barrels at the racetrack so other than that guys i hope that kind of helps you out i'm actually about to mix me up a batch now to put in frostbite but just wanted to share that that's what i do most of the time for my street driving and uh like I said, I'll use 100 octane at the track a lot also, but if it's really, really hot outside or we plan on running frostbite pretty hard, I will use the MS-109, but the truck always has at least 100 octane in the tank at any given moment. So that's the deal, guys. So I hope it helps you out. As always, stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Dylan Derby right side in the Ram and wait on car next night for him to take off. There he goes. Top end. 1193-113 to a 10.01.
As next up, we'll card 1993 Taylor Dillon Derby. As again, continuing on about the Great Folks Mile of Motorsport. They have uh, positions open in South Carolina, Michigan, uh, Tennessee, Arkansas, New York, 